What do I take when I go hunting? Well, why don't I just do a hunting bag gear dump? Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin. But you knew that, didn't you? Well, guys, it is hunting season, finally. And I'm looking forward to doing some deer hunting and possibly some hog hunting this fall and winter. Right now in South Carolina, as far as I'm concerned, it's still a little bit too damn hot. But I do want to get in some early morning hunts um, while it's starting to get a little bit cooler. And I figured, well, now's a good time to go through my hunting stuff make sure I have everything, get everything squared away, and I decided to set up a new hunting bag. Now you might recognize this bag. This used to be my get home bag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a gear dump and just show you guys what I carry in my hunting bag. Now, first of all, the type of hunting I do uh, mostly is deer hunting, and that is most of the time in a stand. Occasionally I will sit in a ground blind but typically I go hunting with friends who have access to areas where the hunting style is in a tree stand. I also want to do some hog hunting on wildlife management land and uh, with that it's a stalking type of hunting so again a bag like this would be would be good. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to start on the outside, work my way to the inside, and show you guys what I carry in my hunting bag when I go stand hunting or blind hunting. So we'll start on the outside here. The bag, um, again, you've seen this bag before. It is a Redhead brand. It's a very good bag. I've had this bag for probably 10 to 12 years and uh, so I can't complain it's a good bag so I'm gonna start first over on the outside side pockets on the right side I have some calls I have a uh, turkey call sometimes I do go turkey hunting and then I have this little uh, grunt So I just keep a couple of calls in that side. All right, over here on the other side, I have just some extra ammo. The gun that I hunt with is my Mossberg ATR um, 30 alt 6 So I've just got uh, 12 extra rounds here. Well, I mean, these aren't extra. I would load the gun with this and then just stick the extras right in here. And then in the other side pocket, I've got a little first aid kit. I'm not going to open it up, but it's got gauze, tape, band-aids, ointments, painkiller, that sort of stuff. Then right here on the front, you can see I've got a little, uh, a little pen light as a backup. In the front outside pocket, I have my headlamp. And the headlamp that I choose to use as my hunting headlamp is a Dorsey 500 lumen headlamp. And you can see it does have the, it does rotate there. And uh, I like the modes on this because it's got two controls. On the top, on the right hand, you click it once to get a bright light. Another time you get the red, okay? And then also, the green, which I've heard, and I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that deer and hogs cannot see green light. So this will allow me to walk into the woods, do what I need to do, get situated with the green light on, and not worry about spooking any deer or hogs or whatever wildlife there may be 
Um, now, like I say, I don't know if that's true, but I've, I've, I've heard that that is true. But having the regular uh, white light, the red, um, and the green, um, with just pushing the button there. Now, on the other side, you've got the 500 lumen, 225 lumen, 50 lumen, and then strobe. But, uh, yeah, Dorsey makes a good headlamp. And then the last thing I have in this outside pocket are my deer tags and my hunting license, which you definitely want to make sure you have that on you all times. All right, I'm on the inside now. I'm just going to reach and grab stuff, okay? Um, I have a hat. This is usually the hat that I wear when I go hunting. If it's cold, I have this hat. Um, this is just a beanie-style hat. It's camo on one side and then the blaze orange on the other. Um, if you hunt on wildlife management land here in South Carolina, you are required to wear the orange. And there are some landowners that require you to wear orange when you're hunting. Um, so I keep that in there. Plus it's a very warm, very warm felt beanie made by uh, Mossy Oak. And then I have a pair of warm gloves here. These gloves are uh, very warm sitting up in that tree stand before the sun comes up in the winter. It can get kind of chilly so it's good to have gloves. I have another pair of gloves. These are sleeveless. Um, so when, when it warms up a little bit, the sun comes up and it gets a little bit warmer. Sometimes I'll switch out these heavier gloves for these gloves. It's easier to shoot with these uh, fingerless gloves. All right, next thing I have here is a empty bottle. This is my pee bottle. Um, you know, when you got to pee, you got to pee. And then I also have in here some Gatorade um, so I can stay hydrated. Uh, also in the line of clothing, I've got this little, this is more for turkey hunting that I wear this. Or if I'm in a ground blind, I'll wear this. Not so much up in a stand. And uh, it's just a net that goes over your head and your face. Um, little extra camouflage here. Then I have in here some binoculars. These are just uh, Tasco. Now usually what I do is I take these out of the bag and I'll put them around my neck. And uh, these are actually very good binoculars. They're 12 power. You can see 12 by 25. And uh, 12 power is pretty strong. I know a lot of you might say, oh, you don't need 12 power for hunting. But um, the areas that I hunt most of them are pretty wide open. I mean, like with a field in front of me or whatever. So, 12 power, I think, for what I do is good. I extra pair of specs here for uh, if I need to do anything where I need to see up close, I have to have specs. Then I have my thermocell here. This is a great way to uh, ward off mosquitoes and Mosquitoes are pretty much a year-round thing here in South Carolina. But I have the extra pads and the extra cartridge here with this. And uh, it's quiet, it's odor-free, and it keeps the mosquitoes away. Then down here in the bottom, I only use this if I go bird hunting. It's a bird vest. Um, I don't do a lot of bird hunting anymore. But I keep this in my bag just in, just in case. If I'm going out to a friend's property and we're doing some deer hunting and they say, oh, well, let's go do some dove hunting now. At least I'll have it. Then I keep in the, uh, an extra pair of heavy wool socks. Uh, then I keep in here, I, uh, I finally found a place for this. Um, in case I need to trim some limbs to clear out my shooting lane. Uh, where I'm going to be shooting. It's good to have a saw with you. I used to carry a little pair of prune, pruning things. But I think a saw will get bigger stuff. 
and I bought this needed somewhere to put it so down in the bag I have a couple of knives uh, here's down at the bottom the knives that I chose for my hunting bag are this Gerber folding knife I've had this for eons I don't remember the model or the name of it but it is one of the Gerbers it's made in USA um, it's razor sharp so if I have to do any field dressings or anything like that that's why I have that knife and then I have this very very sharp Elk Ridge knife which I need to clean it's kind of looks like it might have a little bit of guts on it need to clean that knife up but it's razor sharp so that's all that matters right then I keep an extra knife sharpener in here because you know when you're doing field dressing having a razor sharp knife is crucial uh, then I have in here some paracord now most of the tree stands that I go to um, well not tree stands but most of the stands I go to already have a pull rope you know where I can pull up my gear once I get up into the stand but if I were to go somewhere where there's a new stand that I haven't been to and they don't have a, a pull-up rope or if I need two pull-up ropes this is a good backup not knowing exactly where I'm going to be going I want to have a pull-up rope if I need it because it's much safer to get into the stand and pull your gear up than it is to try to get into the stand carrying your gear that's how accidents happen people and then back here in the back section I keep a South Carolina hunting and fishing magazine that has the official state regulation guide so it has all of the regulations about hunting what you can hunt when and where and how an extra little glow stick in there and that guys concludes my bag let me make sure no oh I do have some off in here there you go guys that's what I carry when I go hunting um the only other thing on the bottom of this bag you can see here it's got straps that's where I'll strap my uh, shooting stick um, now I don't usually use that in a stand but if I'm in a ground blind I like to use that shooting stick while I'm you know sitting and um, I strap that underneath here or I will strap that underneath here along with my little fold up hunting stool and it's just one of those little triangular shaped hunting stools that folds up they're in the fox den I don't have them out but before I go hunting of course I'll get my shooting stick and my hunting stool and I'll lash them under the bottom of the bag here using these straps so other than that I'll have on me what I'm wearing so what do you guys take when you go hunting I'd love to see your videos and hey if you subscribe to my channel already, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing. It would help greatly. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. All that stuff really helps out with the YouTube algorithms and things. So I greatly appreciate your support. I really do. And hey, thanks for coming along in Urban Outdoors. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.